Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with New Portrait Biz, and what I'm going to do today is actually show you how to set up a blog slash website. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people think a blog is just where you post something daily or it's like a news type uh, site or whatever, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I use everything in my businesses. Um, with a WordPress blog. That's exactly what you're looking at here. Now this isn't my site, this is Tammy Fraley Photography which is one of our students and I wanted to use her site because she is doing everything exactly how I would like it done. Uh, this right here is her website which is technically a WordPress blog. All right, And I'm not going to go through everything, we'll probably review her site at another time. Uh, you can always go over there to fraileyphotography.com and check it out. But this right here is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you also right here, New Portrait Biz Pro. This here is a WordPress blog, okay? but it's one of our member sites that has a a bunch of pro lessons in there. You can see there's a, a menu up here and you know there's stuff in the right hand side. There's a login spot. This is a WordPress blog. I'm going to go over to our regular blog right here. And uh, you can see here this here is the um, if I go to the home page right now you can see that this shows all of our posts. Okay, Now I can have this uh, land on a specific page if I want to uh, but I usually like to have all of the posts uh, kind of display in chronological order. Uh, but you can see here I've got tabs up here just like you would on a website, right? And drop down menus, all of this stuff. I've got things over here in the sidebar. Uh, all of these things. I have a header uh, graphic. All of this stuff can be done in WordPress and that's what I'm going to be showing you. Just another example, our Easy Flash Photography Workshop. Again, this is a three week workshop. This here is all built on WordPress. Uh, and then this one here, Digital Background Secrets, another one of our courses built in WordPress. This is technically a blogging platform. All right, so that's what I want to show you today. I want to show you exactly how you can create your own very, very easily. Now, in the past, I was using HostGator and GoDaddy. GoDaddy was for our uh, domain name, and then uh, HostGator was to host it. And I do, do still use them, but I also recently started using Bluehost. And the reason why I'm using these guys now is because it's so much easier. They kind of cut out the middle, the middleman. You don't have to go to GoDaddy, register for domain name, and then forward that over to your blogging platform. Uh, it just gets a little bit more confusing. But Bluehost is really super, super simple. And that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it in probably under five to six minutes. Actually, get the blog installed and then where you can start actually posting things. So um, what I'm going to do, just to make it fun, I'm going to set a little stopwatch here. I've done this in the past with other uh, lessons just to kind of time myself and see actually how long it does take me. Now I'm going to be talking through this a little bit, so it might take a little bit longer, but I can guarantee it's going to be under 10 minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and go with that, and uh, let's get going. I'm going to sign up right here and go over here, and I'm going to... Go with a domain name. I want to pick out a domain name. I'm going to go after digital backdrops because that's another uh, keyword that I want to go after. And we'll be talking about that in the future uh, about why you want your domain name maybe to have your keyword in there that you're going after in your business. Um, so let's go after this and see what it turns back. Now it says it's already taken, which I kind of assumed, but then it gives you some uh, some ones to choose from if you want. If you can't think of one yourself, I'm going to go after this one right here, best digital backdrops. And uh, let's see if that one's going to be available. It should be because it's telling me that uh, you know it's a it's an alternative. Yep, congratulations. I can choose other ones too. .net, .org, info, biz. But I'm going to go with that. So now let's go ahead and fill in all of your information and uh, you know populate your information. And then from there, you're going to scroll down to where you're going to pick a plan. Now, if you go 36 months, it's going to be less. Um, if you go 12 months, it's going to be uh, 6.95 a month. And that's basically a monthly price. That's what I'm going to do. Um, if you want to save some money, you can do it uh, in these increments. But 6.95 is pretty darn cheap anyway. So let's go ahead and select that. And then uh, do I want the, any of this stuff? I'm going to turn that stuff off. But anyway, so my card information, I'm going to have to give them that. Obviously, I'm going to block this stuff out. You know, because I don't want uh, people seeing my credit card information. And then once you have everything filled in, just go ahead and click Next. And then it's going to obviously ask you to uh, upgrade if you want to go to any of these other domain names. We don't care about any of that stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and hit Complete. Congratulations, your purchase was successful. It's going to send me a confirmation email to uh, my name. And uh, then from there, I can create my own password, which I'm going to do.
And then basically it's going to bring you back to here where it's going to ask you to log in now with your new uh, password. So just go ahead and hit log in. And then once you're logged in, you're going to be into the C panel, okay? And this is kind of like your dashboard to, uh, you know, kind of like behind the scenes. Don't get confused by all this stuff. Just go right down to where it says Site Builders and click on WordPress. And then it's going to come here and it says Install WordPress. Skip right down here to where it says Install. And then here, if you want to install this into a subdirectory, like if you wanted it to be like your website and then forward slash blog, you could do that and you could put it inside of a folder, but you don't want to do that. In this case, we're just going to install it right on the main domain. We're going to go here to advanced options. We're going to click display. We're going to give our site a name, uh, best digital backdrops. And then we're going to go um, right here for our, we're going to just put use admin and then we'll use a password that you remember. And then automatically create a new database. And then for here, let's just skip some of this stuff here. This stuff here is just for plugins and themes. We're not going to get into that right now. And then just click agree. And it basically is saying that it's installing the WordPress blog right now. 25%. And there you go, installation complete. You can access your new website using the following information. Basically, we're done, right? We have installed our blog. So right here, you might wanna write this stuff down or bookmark this uh, because this here is how you're gonna get into your um, admin area. So site URL is bestdigitalbackdrops.com and then your login to get in behind uh, the scenes, let's say, uh, and, and edit things, you're gonna wanna go here. And that's where we're gonna go right now. So if we click on that, it takes us to our WordPress panel. Now, if you ever need to get back here, you can always just, if this is your main domain, you can always go forward slash WP hyphen and then uh, admin. And then that will take you to your admin panel. And then obviously you're gonna have to put in your username that you created and your password for your admin area. And then here we are. We have everything installed right now and then we have all of our stuff right here. And the thing that you're gonna be concerned with right now is your posts and your pages, okay? That's the only thing that we're gonna be really worrying about right now to get this thing up and running, okay? Now, I would go to your posts first. I'm gonna give you a sample post that I'm gonna create right now uh, and we'll go ahead and do that. So this way here you can see how that works. So let's go add new. And then we're going to come in here and add a title, okay? So we'll just uh, do something simple here just for an example. Uh, digital, oops, digital backdrops before and if I could spell after, make sure that's capitalized, make sure that's capitalized, and then go down here. And I've got a little sample post that I just put together real short. Again, you know, you're going to want to write stuff uh, that's going to pertain to your business and your website. And then I'm going to add a picture. So I'm just going to go here to where it says Upload Insert. Click on that. And then go here to Select Files. Then obviously you're going to, you know, find the image that you want to put there, which is on your computer. Go ahead and select it. And then basically come down here. And uh, for this example, I'm just going to keep it full size. We're going to insert it directly into the post. Then there it is, and let me scroll down, and that looks good. Let me just go ahead and hit publish, and we are basically done. I can just go ahead and hit view post, and then we come to our blog, which has basically not been customized, but just to show you that we threw up our first post real quickly and how easily you can do that, digital backdrops before and after. Uh, there's the, the image. And um, obviously we don't like this, so we'll probably change that. And I'll show you how to customize all this stuff in another video. I just wanted to show you, though, how fast we can do it. Now, how long has it taken us? Let's take a look. Six minutes and 10 seconds, all right? And that's with stumbling kind of through it. I had to do the full sign up. Um, that's not even just the install. So we were able to do that in under 10 minutes. So obviously this is the bare bones of a website and a blog, right? But at least you understand now how to set one up and you can see the power of it, right? Now I'm gonna show you how to customize it even further by using free themes or paid themes, uh, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna show you how to customize the header graphic. I'm gonna 
to show you how to create you know pages so this way here they show up in your main menu uh, really to give your viewer a great experience because that's what it's all about when people land on your page you want it to do a few things you want it to educate them but you want it to also be easy to navigate all right and that's what I'm going to be showing you in upcoming videos so if you want more information about this if you're not on our NPB subscriber list right now and you're watching this on YouTube you should head over to newportraitbiz.com and sign up to our email newsletter and our um, posts and updates because we have a ton of information that we give out for free on our blog and we give that to all of our NPB subscribers and we'll keep you up to date as soon as we release new videos so that's it that's gonna wrap up this lesson once again I really enjoyed making it for you I hope you got a lot out of it and I'll talk to you soon